it's Mikai with House of Meese and I am finally here to do a favorites. I'm going to be doing May favorites. It's a little bit late in June but I figured it was okay. Um, I haven't done favorites in a long time so there might be a lot of products. Well I mean no I'll be honest there's a lot of products but I really just want to show you guys things that I've been enjoying. Hopefully I can do these videos like every other month or so so that way um, I'll have a good amount things that I actually know that are my favorite. Um, and then also so that it won't be like too much because I feel like sometimes favorites every single month isn't good sorry if I get distracted I'm totally watching love is love Jones in the background and it's the very end and so I'm kind of like having trouble focusing but anyways we'll go ahead and get started so I figure let's see we'll start with like clothing and shoes and things like that I have pretty much one article from each of those things I have a top a bottom and then a pair of shoes um, and then the first thing is this top. It looks like this. It's pretty plain Jane. Very simple. Um, it's from Target. It's the Massimo brand. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous shirt. It's so plain. It's um, a sleeveless with like kind of like a razorback uh, back. And um, it has these pieces of fabric on there. And so when you put it on, it like sways. It is so pretty. I bought this a while ago. Um, this is actually one of the pieces that I was referring to in my previous Target haul. I love this top. It is so simple, but you can dress it up. You can dress it down. I've worn it with just jeans before. I've also, you know, worn it when I was going out with heels and things like that. Super, super cute. It's pretty long and flowy, like I said, and this gives great cleavage. Um, and then for my pants, I have um, from Target again, once again, with that haul that I did. Um, or that tar big Target haul. These are the, I don't know, Levi's, or sorry, Denizen, Denizen from Levi's. Um, you can kind of see. Um, I'll try to post close-ups of these things as much as possible so you can kind of see, but they're the modern straight crop, and so I love these. They're super pretty, and the most thing, like the biggest thing about this, is that they are comfy. Oh my goodness! So most of my jeans are from J Crew, and I love J Crew jeans. They're the only jeans that I really wear now because I love them that much. But these are so soft. Um, normally, you know, when you come home, you kind of just want to put, you know, your sweatpants on and take off your jeans. These are the only jeans I promise that to date of my years of living that I put these on and I can literally lounge in them. I just absolutely love them. I cannot speak too much about them. Like seriously, they're so soft um, and they actually fit my waist as well as as my bottoms. I don't know. I just, I love these jeans and I highly recommend them. I normally roll them up. I don't really know how long. I think they come right to your ankle. Um, but I just normally roll them up and wear them as like capris. Is that what they're called nowadays? I don't even know. But I just wear them like that. So there's those. This video is going to be long. I feel it already in my bones. So I'm just going to own it up to it. Once again, another Target haul. I kind of forgot about this. I bought this purse um, maybe two months ago. Maybe not. Um, from Target again. It's this black purse. It's really well shaped. Um, and it is, it's the Morona brand. I don't know what it's called. If I can find any of these things, like I said, I will link them down below, um, if I'm able to find them. But it's very sturdy and it's a, holds a good shape, which I love so much. It has nice compartments in it. My, it's really dirty, so I'm not going to show you. Um, but I love it. I've been going more towards this now that Rylan doesn't use as much formula and stuff like that and we have a lot of her stuff already in the car. I've been going towards this if I'm doing quick outings with the girls because I can just throw a little bit of wipes, diapers in here in her sippy cup and be totally fine. I love this thing. It's super sturdy um, and it is held up and you know I spill things in here and it wipes right off. So I love that. And then for shoes, um, I recently... Oops, sorry. Okay. And then for shoes, I recently got Converse's. I used to wear these all the time. I get distracted. I used to wear these all the time when I was in high school. Um, and I stopped wearing them. And then recently, I was really like, I just really want a nice pair of shoes to like, not really do work in, but like a cute pair of shoes. Um, I don't wear tennis shoes. The, literally, if this even counts as tennis shoes, these are the only pair I have. Um, I have another pair that I like actually like do like hard work in, you know what I mean? Like yard work and when I'm working with Michael on wood and stuff. But I love these. They fit perfectly. Um, the white with the red and blue are so cute and I even wear them when I'm not wearing like red and blue things so it doesn't really matter um but I like I said I've been loving these so 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 much I actually got them from the Converse I no I got did I get them from Converse no I actually got them from Zappos which I love Zappos Zappos is is seriously the best I 
why why order shoes from anywhere else and then let's move on to um, body things that kind of goes into it so I have two lotions here both from Bath and Body Works I've been really trying to go through my lotions as I told you guys in my Bath and Body Works haul so the first thing that I is actually kind of like an empty um, I never save my empties so I can't ever do an empties video because I always forget until I've tossed them but it's this forever red um, triple is this the no it's the luxury body cream my father-in-law got me this entire set for Christmas and I've been like you know weaving through it um, I re that was a lot of dust on there. I don't know. Oh, from the drawer. Sorry. Um, so I've been using this, and this is pretty much all gone. I love the scent of this. I've been using the body wash as well, but um, I think I tossed it. Like I said, I've been loving this scent. So it's an empty, and it's a favorite. And then the other one is the one that I hauled actually um, just recently. It is the Sheer Cotton and Lemonade uh, 24 Hour Ultra Shea Body Cream. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Like seriously so good I'm also using the body wash right now because I just like I said I ran out of the um, forever red kind but so good oh my goodness it smells amazing and I think I want to go back and get more but I don't want to become the hoarder that I used to be with Bath and Body Works products so I'm just gonna enjoy it it seriously smells so good and I definitely recommend it and then um, I have two I have all my stuff like in a little thing right here I have two lip balms now I I don't know I wear makeup but then I it's very rare that I wear lip gloss or lipstick um, I used to love lipstick and lip gloss I just don't wear it now I don't know it's just way too much I'm always kissing on my babies and you know then that just leaves a mark I just don't like it so I wear a lot of lip balm um, so I want to show you guys my two favorites and the first one is from honest company and it is the lavender milk or sorry lavender oh my phone's going off um lavender mint lip balm and like I said it's from honest company I actually got this as a mother's day gift from my um subscription we're subscribed for monthly diaper deliveries for Rylan so I got this as a like a mother's day gift or whatever for the month of May I love it I don't know if it's sold in stores obviously it's sold on their site but um I was gonna check Target but I totally forgot to I love this stuff it smells so good it's so moisturizing there is, and it smells like mint. I normally don't like mint because it like leaves that burning, tingling sensation. I just don't like it. But this one doesn't. It just leaves a really, really nice scent. And then once the mint wears off, it's like the first initial like smell. Once that wears off, you get the lavender and it just feels so smooth and it, it's amazing. And then the other one is the Nivea Kiss. Uh, it's a kiss of olive oil and lemon. Now that sounds completely horrid to be something that you want to smell when you're putting it on. But it smells, I almost dropped it. Oh, I'll rack myself up. It smells amazing. It's this really like green color. I mean, but it doesn't go on green. It it seriously smells so good. Like, I don't even smell olive oil or lemon. I'm not even sure what olive oil smells like. I use it every day, but I don't believe it has a smell. But anyways, seriously, so good. I love them both equally the same. Um, and I've been using them nonstop. And I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. And I have two of these. So that works out well. Next, I have body scrubs. I took two body scrubs because... I, I use two different body scrubs at the same time. I don't know. That's like the one thing that I like use different. I don't know. Anyways, so the first one is just from the body shop. I think I might have mentioned this in like the last favorites that I did. I'm not entirely sure. But it's the body shop and this is the Honey Mania Exfoliant Cream. Um, this is awesome because it's um, instead of like the sugar scrub that you normally get, it's literally like a cream. Um, if you guys can see it. It's so, 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 so good. I love this stuff. I ordered two of them like a long time ago. Um, and I um, used the first one and I started kind of using other things. And I went back to this. I love it. I don't know if they still have this scent. If they do, um, like I said, I'll link it down below for you guys. But I seriously suggest this, especially if you don't want something so abrasive. And why I have to, this is easy, really, really easy for like an everyday quick kind of scrub. So I normally use these on like my knees and my elbows um, every time I take a shower so that way you know they just don't get really dry so like that with the summer months but it's really not abrasive but it really just smooths it out and it smells amazing. I will say if you smell it before you like actually use it in the shower to give it a chance because I when I smelled this I ordered this online from a recommendation from Organized Gen I think and I smelled it and I was like I don't I don't like it I really don't. When you put it on in the shower I don't know what it is, but it just, it smells so good. Seriously, you guys, you need to try it. 
And then the other one, it's kind of wet because I literally pulled it out of my shower. Sorry. Um, this, I actually got this from a kiosk in the mall. Um, sometimes they suck me in. Honestly, the, it, it, I got sucked in, into buying this because the guy was foreign and his voice was extremely hot. He had a nice accent, so I went in there. The product actually turned out to be really good. So, I mean, it, it worked out, so I went ahead and bought one. Actually, I bought, I bought two because it gave me a really good deal. It was like two for one. You know, they always are splitting those little deals or whatever. And this is the Brilliance Luxury Body Scrub. Um, this stuff it might have water. Hold on. It smells like bubblegum. It smells like bubblegum and it smells so good. It is really abrasive in like the best way. Not too abrasive, but it's really good for a nice scrub. It leaves your body so incredibly moisturized. And I love using this like when it's winter. Um, but I've been using it in the summertime too because it just feels so good. You know, it just feels so good. And um, mm, bubblegum, seriously. Um, I have a shampoo. Oh my goodness, you guys. I, okay, I've never been able to tell the difference in shampoos until this one came along. So I got this from Sally's Beauty, actually. I do believe they sell this at Target and Walmart as well. But this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. I believe it is the Apple Cider Vinegar that, like, seals the deal for my hair. Oh my goodness, it's, this stuff is amazing. It, it feels amazing. I And plus, I've been using this for, well, you can't, can you guys see? Yeah, you can kind of see. Um, I've been using this for two months, and that's what I've been using. And I wash my hair um, quite a bit, and I use quite a bit of product because I normally drop a lot of it in my hand. Whatever. But I use a lot of it, and it's still so much left in here. And it, it doesn't smell like, oh my goodness, I want to bathe in it, but... It smells good. So this is for Jalen, actually. Her hair has been the same. Her hair is very curly, very dry, and very thick. Those three things do not mix together. So I've been using like really cheaper products on her hair because I've been doing the same thing for my hair. And I just kind of said I can make it work until I tried this. I was on a whim. I did a huge like binge shopping trip at Target, which I had done a long time. So I was just buying things. And I bought this. And it was just like, mm, it was expensive. I don't know. I was over like $14 I believe I don't remember anyways um, I bought it this stuff is like heaven for her hair oh my goodness it is the Carol's daughter's hair milk nourishing and conditioning it's a refresher spray and it says it's for curls coils kinks and waves deeply moisturizes improves softness prevents frizz blah 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 now I don't know about the frizz thing because I feel like her hair is frizzy I can't honestly tell the difference between when it's frizzy and just like the curls are like in wave mode I can't tell the difference so I can't say if it's frizz controlled um but what I will say it moisturizes her hair feels so soft I mean so soft and with that being said this is the first product normally when I detangle her hair or do any of the sorts that helps it you know not be tangled um if I run my fingers through her hair, I will still have to like, you know, shimmy down so that way, if you have curly hair, you know, um, I'll still have to like shimmy down so that way my fingers won't get caught. But it will be detangled, her curls are just like, you know, they're just coiled together. This stuff gets rid of that completely. Um, her hair is still curly. It is still the exact same way that it is in the natural state after it dries. When I spray this on, I literally can start at the top of her hair and go down without catching any hair. And it is such a lifesaver such a lifesaver okay and then last i'm trying to make sure yeah and then last of like beauty skin whatever type stuff is this oh my goodness so this um i've used this before and then my father-in-law once again it's one of the things that he bought me in the little set for christmas it's the bath and body works aromatherapy like little uh pillow spray or whatever pillow mist as they call it and this is in the lavender chamomile i love lavender um lavender is one like obviously is a very soothing scent and i love it but he bought me this and i've been using it for a long time and i still have a bunch left this seriously this stuff works it totally works um, especially on the nights that I feel like I need, like I'm tired, I'm just kind of restless. I will put this on my pillow and I'm out. Totally out. Oh my goodness, it's so great. I just recommend that you get it. And now, let's do, I have two like, I don't know what to classify these. Let's say like they're like, just me related, I don't know. Uh, the first thing is a candle, obviously, you guys know. Um, vanilla bean marshmallow been loving this I hauled it in just a little bit ago and it is just as amazing as I said it would be in my head it was so good um, I really loved it 
and I have another one thank goodness so that way I don't have to like go out and buy more but super excited about the candle and then um this I is basically a gratitude journal I bought it a little bit ago I was super excited about it I got it from Foxy Fix um, from Etsy I'll post any links down below that I can find um, and basically it's like a Midori if you know what a Midori is it's like a faux Dory type of situation they're really common on Etsy a lot of people make them um, and it's just had a little plastic band I actually also got a little charm on it and um, so you just kind of use the rubber band and then I put little uh, what are these called moleskin journals in there and then I just write um, just the fan through um, you know what I'm grateful for for that day or you know I don't write in every single day but it's been such a relief because to go to be able to go to bed on a good note um, if you're having a bad day or even if you're having a great day to recap how great it was it's just really really good so I don't just put it's kind of like a gratitude journal slash just a journal in general it's super nice um, very well made and it's made like set from leather like things like that I don't remember I think it was like 30 bucks or so but I really love it and she was a great seller I definitely recommend if you're gonna get one to get one from her and then with that being said um, I have these pens now I got a lot of pens when I got my new a5 Filofax, and I bought them and I was gonna return um, two of them but then I was like you know what I love having pens so I just kept them these I'm super glad I decided to keep they're um, friction pens if you don't know they're basically erasable pens now I remember having erasable pens like what 10 15 years ago and they were sucky like they were horrible um, you would you know they looked like pencil writing basically um, and the eraser really didn't erase that well but these are like a step up like seriously um, these are 0.7 millimeters and um, you just click them or whatever and the eraser isn't like an actual eraser it's like a rubber rubber piece on top but I really love them and they all there's also a black one but it's in my nightstand because it's what I write in my gratitude journal with. Okay, we're coming in the home stretch I'm super sorry you guys two cleaning products for uh, this week the first one is this wood cleaner I just had normal like spray in a can wood cleaner whatever the normal Lice, no, not light, not lice, all good, goodness gracious. But this is the Meth Method Wood for Good Polish. Conditions and revitalizes, and it's almond. It smells amazing, first of all. Oops, I just checked the camera. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, almond, this smells amazing. Seriously amazing. They have bigger bottles. I actually got this bottle from Home Depot, and then I was going to go get a backup. Um, I like the smaller bottle because it fits better in my little um, cleaning supply holder because the bigger bottle is obviously bigger. So I wanted this smaller one, and I got... Um, I got this smaller one at Home Depot, Lowe's. I got the smaller one at Lowe's, um, but at Target they only sold the bigger one. So, but I really like this. It's really good. It works amazingly. It gets all the stuff. It's, you know, surface safe, non-toxic, and it's plant-based. Because Method is, you know, meant for, you know, good cleaning products. So, you are kind of already know all that. But I love this. It smells super good. And, um, I've been using it like crazy. We have a decent amount of wood stuff in our house, so this works out well. And then the other cleaning thing is this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day. These two are like kind of my favorite as well as J.R. Watkins as far as cleaning brands. Um, this is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day a, a Limited Edition Seasonal Scent. And this is an orange clove. I got this actually recently. I'm thinking it was meant to be like Christmas time. But um, I got this from World Market. I ordered it online and just picked it up in the store. It smells so good. And then it's okay, so off of just cold scent when you're not using it with water and hot water, it smells really too orangey. But when you mix it with the water, I don't know what it does, but it smells like baked goods. Oh, in your house. I've used it up and I'm gonna check World Market to see if they have any more or because you can't get it on the site. It doesn't say it anymore, but I got it from World Market and I I don't know. I hope they sell it. I just I just want this and then the last items are like food and drink items so the first thing are these um, 
Clancy's Original Veggie, Veggie Straws. These are perfect because I give them to the kids. We eat them too, but I give them to the kids as a substitute for chips. Rylan doesn't have chips anyway, um, but Jalen does. So I give these and I think they're perfect. They actually taste really good. Um, I was a little worried that they wouldn't taste good and I tasted them, but they, they taste really good. And we eat them too, like I said, but I like try to give the, you know, Jalen always asks for chips a lot more than we would. So I give her these a lot of the times and she just doesn't know any difference. Um, so I really like him. Um, and then I also give them to Rylan. That was my main thing. Rylan, Jalen, oh, I just punched myself in the face. <laughs> Jalen gets chips and then Rylan wants chips, but she can't have actual chips. So these work great because they're like in the shape, if you guys can see, of straws. And she's able to eat them and she gobbles them up too. We got these from Aldi's. They're pretty inexpensive and we just buy them now all the time whenever we need to refill. And they worked great. Um, and then for drinks, oh, is it bad to mention wine? I'm a mommy and I feel like it should be known that I need a little wine in my life sometimes. Um, okay, I've never been a fan of barefoot wine. Um, I had like their normal Moscato and it's, it's good for just like, just sipping on like, oh, cool. But I just didn't really like the taste of it. I did, I've tasted better and I just didn't want to drink it. Well, my father-in-law bought this kind over, which is the Pink Moscato, and apparently it's really good. It's 2012 Riverbank competition, it won gold, I don't know. It's like the perfect amount of sweet and like dry. It is so good, so good. I love it, and it's cheap. So, I mean, you can't beat cheap, good wine, you know? This is way to go. Um, and then two more things, I know, I'm sorry. This coffee is so good. I told you I had a lot of stuff to show you guys because it's been a while. Such a good coffee. You can't actually see it here. There you go. This is the Archer's Farms from Target Cream Vanilla Cream or Vanilla Bean Creme Brulee um, in the light roast. This is so good. This, oh my goodness. I used to really like the Kahlua brand coffee because this tasted really good, but it was really hard to get. I had to order from Amazon and it was just whole thing. This, so, 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 so good. Um, I actually can drink this without using creamer. It just tastes, it's just so good. I just, I can't say it. it's so good. Seriously, go check it out. And then lastly, because I take forever, the last thing is these Cascadian Farms Organic Vanilla Chip Granola Bars. These are amazing. I love granola bars anyway, and I really like white chocolate chip. I just feel like they just taste better than chocolate chip, regular chocolate chip or milk chocolate chip. Um, but we normally just get chocolate chip. These are great and they are organic and you know, um, no artificial flavors or preservatives and all this and all that. And it is USDA organic certified or would you say certified? I don't know. But besides that, besides all the good stuff about it, they just taste amazing. They're so good. I got these from Target as well. Um, they come in six or you get six of them. Was that it? I guess so. Yeah. You only get six bars, but they last me a long time. I just love these as a quick little snack. But anyways, done with that. Okay, that is it for my favorites. I'm super sorry that it's long. Well, kind of. I hope you guys are still kicking with me um, towards the very end. And um, yeah, I will stop blabbering to you guys. I will try to continue with these beautiful favorites. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.